This is where we're going to go for reading files. The reason I'm on Windows 98 again is because Windows XP, my emulator is messing up. And it won't assemble anything. So I'm just running Windows 98. It's exactly the same. Nothing's different. So don't think that. The file we're going to read is test.txt. Inside of it, it says Joe Billy. And so first, we need to open our file. And that's mov ah the 3D um 3D that's what we use to open files and mov al um how the other one we use that one file handler for writing files file handler for reading files is just zero zero now um mov dx the file names at 150 remember make sure it's a zero terminating string not a dollar sign terminating string now n21 now see we're going to read the data of the file into a20 but we don't really feel like tagging a dollar sign at the end so we're going to do this define by 0 0 0 0 0 0 keep on doing this and then eventually just be like 24 what this will do is you're going to define bytes and if you define bytes as just numbers, that you're defining the characters as hacks. So we're inserting a whole bunch of just blank spaces and then a dollar sign. So what we're doing, if we just insert our string into this space, we won't have to tag a dollar sign thing because it already be there. Now the function for reading files is 3f. Now mob, oh when we open our file, remember we get a file handler and it moves it into AX so let's go ahead and move our file handler into our SI register now BX SI retrieve our file handler CX how many bytes do we want to read how many bytes do you want to read count like the same as how many characters we want to read let's just say five now mob DX where do we want to send the red text to 221 now we're going to say mob A809 to display a string and the string we're going to display is 200 and 21 and 20. Now let's save this. Now debug test.asm. There. Test. As you can see, it says Joe B. Because CX is how many bytes you want to read. I said only five bytes, meaning um, it only read the first five characters, J O E space B. Now the the characters are already five, so there's nine characters. So if we just go here and change CX to nine, make sure we open up nine empty spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, we have nine. I think. Let's save this. Debug test.asm. Test. See, it read the whole thing because that's all the characters. Um, let's say there. Are, remember, this is hacks, meaning if like I have ten characters, let's say Joe Billy's. Let me open up another space. Meaning, I want it right 10 to read all 10. Whoops, not there. Or CX. I want it right 10 to read all 10 characters. I put an A. Because A is hex for 10. Save. See, Joe Billies, that reads all 10. Um, remember in the last tutorial I showed you writing bytes, it's the same thing as how many bytes you want to read. Just Google binary translator and you can get, um, you can use the hex translator and the decimal to see if you, uh, like type in 10 into the decimal, hit convert and it'll show you how much it is in hex. If you write 10 into decimal, click decode, it should write A into hex. So that's it for this tutorial, really simple. Um, writing files and reading files isn't that complicated. Um, you just gotta know you have to open your file first. And an another thing, you, 
if you write a file that doesn't exist it won't do anything because you can't open a file for writing that doesn't exist so like in the tutorial when I showed you to create files you want to create your file then write into it and same with reading you can't read a file that doesn't exist you got to, if you you want to create it and write into it first so that's it for reading and writing files and that's really it for this um, tutorial